What's up guys, it's Addy and Maya, and we've been nominated to do a special unboxing for Hatchet On. You know, the show for Mega Hats fans. Let's get hatching, you guys. Flying, flying, real flying pixie. This is happening. Ever seen a pixie fly, you guys, for real? Well, now you have. This is the all new Hatchimals Pixie that really flies. Hi everyone, I'm Maya. And I'm Addy. And we're here to show you how to fly your Hatchimals Crystal Flyers. So your Crystal Flyer comes inside this beautiful sparkly egg. It looks like a real glittery crystal. I love the shape and it's so, so sparkly. Okay, when you first open the egg, take the wrapping off. Then pull off the top of the egg to hatch it. <gasps> there she is, she's really, really pretty. I love her stand. It looks like she's surrounded with sparkly crystals. Totally. She comes attached to a blister support. So ask the grown up to cut the ties. Look how cute her bun is. And her makeup, so pretty. You realize she's a grown up pixie, right? And check out her dress and boots, Addy. And her sparkly gold jewelry is to die for. And what about her gorgeous pink wings? Love them. Now, before we start flying, we need to talk about the most important thing when it comes to flying your crystal flyer. This girl right here is not the outdoorsy type. That's right, crystal flyers are for flying indoors only. It's also important to pick the perfect pixie spot to fly your crystal flyer. When you're deciding where to fly her, you'll always want to pick a nice open space. And make sure there's nothing on the floor you can trip on when you're guiding her around. No cords or anything. So clear a spot, make room, and get ready to fly. Oh, and one more thing. Always put your hair up or tie it back before you fly. So to fly a crystal flyer, you could start her from anywhere, but we're gonna start her from her base. Now just place her in the center of the base like this. She fits right in. Oh, and when you're flying her for the first time, don't forget to charge her with the USB cable she comes with. More on that later. Okay, so to turn her on, flip this little purple switch under her dress. See that flashing LED light? It'll start slowly blinking and then speed up. Whoa! Her wings start fluttering and then they spin faster and faster! So cool! Now let go of her and she really flies! Watch this! If I put my hand underneath her, I control where she flies! I'm really guiding her where to fly! It's like magic! The higher your oh, hand goes, the higher she goes! Oh. Look at that! And if I lower my hand, she flies lower. It's really that easy to fly her. She's so graceful. Now, if you want to adjust her mid-flight, just grab her by the legs, pull her in, and let go again so she can keep flying. It's kind of like you're teaching her how to dance in the air. Yeah, so you can make up all these different moves and dances with your pixies. Check this out, this is major pixie power. I can spin just like a pixie. Look at how beautiful she is when she flies. I love her when she twirls. Now, if you want to stop her, there's an auto stop feature. It's super easy. Grab her legs, turn her sideways like this, and she'll stop. Of course, if she crashes into anything, she'll stop flying too. So if you feel like she's coming down and headed for a crash landing, Grab her out of the sky, move her to a safe, open location, and then you can fly her again. As long as the pedals are still spinning, she'll keep flying when you let her go. Which also reminds me, you just turn her off and then back on when you want to fly her. It's totally up to you when she flies in. Now, if she's running low on charge, her LED light on her skirt will flash when she's flying. You can also tell if she needs charging if she isn't having a good lift off. If you ignore her flashing warning, she will eventually land on her own and turn off by herself. Smart pixie, right? All you have to do is recharge her on her base. It's super easy to do. She comes with her own USB cable here at the bottom of her stand. You know what that means, no battery. Love it. Just remove the cable when your pixie's turned off. Then plug the small end of the cord at the edge of her skirt at the bottom. There's a little charge port. You can plug this into any five volt computer USB port. 
You can also plug the other end into a USB outlet. Now, when your light turns on solid like this, that means your Pixie's charging. This light will go off when she's fully charged. It usually takes about 30 minutes to charge, and that will get you 10 minutes of light. When you're not flying your Pixie, make sure to turn her off and set her in her base. When you put the top back on, it makes the most awesome display for your room. Don't you think? Love it. Now for some flying tips and pixie tricks. First, please, please do not ever, ever turn her on, put her on the base, and put the crystal lid on. It ain't pretty. Nope. Also, if your pixie flies too close to the floor or a table, the wind effects will cause the pixie to move sideways more quickly. It's better to keep her flying over your hands so you can control her flight. Another tip, sometimes her skirt pedals might get flipped over like this. No biggie, just turn her off and flip them over. You always want to make sure they face the same way. And if for some reason one or two of her pedals fall off, don't worry. Just place the pedal back in the slot by flexing the pedal to fit. One of the coolest things about the crystal flowers is a beautiful egg here. Because it's also a sparkly case for you to display your crystal flyer. You can store her and rehatch whenever you want. So don't throw it away. Wow, did you ever think you'd see a real flying pixie that you can make fly? It's like magic in your own hands. Yeah, we hope this video helps you with your own beautiful crystal flyer. Happy flying! Thanks for watching, Hatchy fans. Make sure you watch the next video to find out who we nominated for the next Hatchet On episode. Bye!